Assalamualaikum everyone Hi Ok kita kembali um, Video kali ni I will explain about chapter 5 Which is public finance Ok public here refer kepada government activities uh, Relate to Related to government expenditure Dan juga as government revenue And how government solve the problem, the macroeconomic problem such as unemployment and also inflation by using fiscal policy. Okay, before this, in chapter 4 about money and banking, I already, I already, I had explained um, the monetary policy. And now, in this chapter, I will explain about fiscal policy. Okay. What is public finance? Concept in public finance. Okay, actually, public finance is the branch of economics that studies the government activities and the alternative means of financing government expenditure. Okay, government activities and the finance of government expenditure. Right? So, as I told you, it refers to government expenditure and also government revenue. And here, what is government revenue? Okay, government, government revenue, money collected by a government from various sources. Uh, terdapat banyaklah sources. Revenues earned by the government are received from sources such as taxes levied on the income. Okay, uh, and wealth accumulation of individuals such as personal income tax, corporate income tax, business tax. Okay, dan banyak lagi lah jenis, jenis tax ataupun cukai. And non-tax revenues. Okay, revenue selain tax such as fees and penalties and also non-revenue receipt. For example, um, uh, apa? apabila kita terlebih bayar, okay, overpayment and we will get back from the from each country. For example, Hmm, itu adalah jenis-jenis non-revenue receipt. Untuk government expenditure divided into two categories. Okay. Uh, the first one is operating expenditure and the second one is development expenditure. Operating focuses on the operations and administration of the government. Okay, and then what is the economic functions of government? First is to adjust the, alloca the allocation of resources, assist private sector to ensure economic stabilization, create a business environment, redistribute income and wealth among population and provide a legal and social framework for the effective operation of an economy. Okay, itu adalah function, antara function-function government. Dari segi ekonomi. Okay, in this topic, I won't uh, talk about politics. It's about economy. Okay. Right, for government revenue, this revenue, okay, first of the government revenue, the, the major sources for the government revenue is tax revenue. Tax revenue, this revenue sources is compulsory contribution that is imposed by the government on private individual and organization. So, there are two types of tax. The first one is direct tax and the second one is indirect tax. Contoh-contoh direct tax, apa beza direct tax and indirect tax? Direct tax tax yang dikenakan secara langsung okay tax where burden of the tax falls on the taxpayers and cannot be shifted to someone else uh, kita tak boleh nak uh, bawa ke, uh, nak bagi kepada orang lain okay for example individual income tax or personal income tax tidak boleh bagi kepada ayah contohnya untuk bayar tax tu and then company income tax petroleum income tax stamp duty uh, RPGT, real property gains tax and road tax. Itu adalah direct tax. You have to pay that tax directly to the government. Okay. For indirect tax, 
indirect tax um, tax yang tidak langsung okay tax where burden of tax can be shifted to another person for example export duties import duties excise duties sales tax service tax kalau kita negara kita sebelum ni GST uh, goods and service tax itu adalah contoh-contoh indirect tax okay faham kat situ untuk tax revenue The second part is non-tax revenue. Untuk non-tax revenue, are revenues which arise from other sources besides tax. Okay, resources yang arise from other sources. Okay, selain tax. So, ini adalah daripada selain tax. Bagi contoh, receipt from license, regulations fees and permits, Services fees, sales of goods, interest and return on investment, as well as fines. Okay, itu adalah non-revenue tax. Non-tax revenue, sorry. And the last one is non-revenue receipt. So, untuk non-revenue receipt, contohnya refund of expenditure, interdepartmental credit, refund of overpayment, earnest payment, reimbursement, as well as contribution from government department such as rebate bodies and government owned enterprise so it adalah contoh-contoh non-revenue receipt ok so now the government revenue consists of three tax revenue, non-tax revenue and non-revenue receipt itu daripada uh, yang berkaitan dengan government revenue for the government expenditure there are two types the first one is operating expenditure and the second one is development expenditure untuk operating expenditure expenses of operating and administering a government department department contohnya uh, in Malay kita panggil uh, perbelanjaan mengurus kalau you pernah dengar di dalam TV ataupun newspaper uh, perbelanjaan mengurus dan juga perbelanjaan pembangunan ok antara operating expenditure uh, we have emoluments Service charges, debts, pensions and gratuities, grants and transfer, asset acquisition, supplies and service tu antara operating expenditure. Untuk development expenditure, expenditure for investment, purpose to improve facilities in the basic physical infrastructure. So, ada beberapa jenis development antaranya economic services dari segi agriculture, rural, development, trade and industry. And dari segi social services such as education, dari segi defense and security, dari segi arm, arm force and general administration. Itu antara untuk development expenditure. Jadi, you can ingat the government expenditure consists of two, operating, okay, perbelanjaan mengurus dan juga perbelanjaan untuk pembangunan. Okay, now... Kita tengok kepada types of tax structure. Tadi you tengok kepada types of tax. Okay. Okay, types of tax ada direct and indirect. Yang ni types of tax structure. Apakah struktur-struktur tax? Ada tiga jenis. The first one is proportional. Okay, proportional. Proportional tax adalah tax impose... Uh, tax impose so that the tax rate is fixed with no change with the income. Kalau income increase pun, tax itu adalah fixed. For example, corporation tax. Okay, corporation tax, tak kisahlah, tak kira you punya income increase or decrease, tax tu tetap sama. Jadi, dia punya uh, the curve, ni curve, tax curve is horizontal. Uh, dia tidak berubah. Okay, dalam pun dia fix to proportional. For progressive, progressive is the upward sloping. Okay, kalau you tengok kat sini, upward sloping from the origin. Tax imposed so that the effective rate, effective tax rate increases as income increases. Okay, effective tax rate increases as income increases. Bila income increase, tax pun increase. It impose a greater portion of tax on the higher income group than the lower income group. For example, personal income tax. 
Okay, personal income tax. When your income increase, you have to pay more personal income tax. And the last one is regressive. Regressive, kalau you tengok kat sini, ini adalah downward sloping tax curve. Tax imposed so that the tax rate decreases as the income increases. Bila income increase, you can bayar lagi kurang tax. The lower income group will bear a higher proportion of tax than the higher income group. So, antara contoh untuk regressive tax adalah sales tax dan juga property tax. Okay, ini adalah tax structure yang biasanya akan ditanya dalam soalan AC. Okay, ni contoh. Kalau you tengok tax rate, total tax divided by income dan you tengok kat sini progressive value, the value is increasing 6 to 9 to 12. Kalau untuk proportional fit, 6% and untuk regressive, the tax rate is reducing. Okay. And uh, kemudian we proceed to the types of government budget. Okay, there are three types of government budget. The first one is balance budget. Untuk balance budget, the government total revenue is equals to total expenditure. Okay, total revenue equals to total expenditure. At this level, the economy has reached full employment. Untuk surplus, surplus budget, when the total revenue is more ataupun greater daripada government expenditure. Okay, capital G ni kita denote sebagai, uh, denote kepada government expenditure and capital T kita simbolkan kepada tax. Jadi kat sini, government expenditure less than revenue, total re uh, tax revenue. Jadi kat sini, surplus. Adopted by government to overcome inflation by raising the tax and reducing the government expenditure. Okay, bila ada berlakunya inflation yang tinggi, government akan buat surplus budget. Impose higher tax and reducing government expenditure in order to stabilize the economy to reduce the inflation rate. And the last one is deficit budget. Deficit budget, you pernah dengar ni, budget deficit. Ataupun deficit budget, G is more than tax revenue. Okay, G, government spending is more than total revenue. Biasanya government akan gunakan this type of budget when the economy is in recession by raising government expenditure and reducing tax. Okay, contohnya sekarang, waktu sekarang kita ekonomi dunia pun tengah mengalami ke arah recession. Sama juga Malaysia, jadi kerajaan menambahkan government expenditure kalau you tengok sebelum ni kita ada uh, package rangsangan prihatin uh, yang bernilai 260 bilion RM uh, ya RM260 bilion dan 35 bilion adalah fiskal ok bajet fiskal 35 bilion kepada uh, rakyat Malaysia in order to solve the problem of a recession and also high unemployment ok that is the types of government budget hmm. ok um, guys I think better I stop now for fiscal policy I will proceed in the next video ok guys thank you Assalamualaikum bye